So, um, it is uh, March 15th, and tomorrow is my son Owen's one-year birthday. And I remembered that when Owen was in the hospital, I was tweeting out the entire time. Uh, from the moment we got into the hospital right up until he was born. It was just a way to, you know, communicate with everybody that was, you know, wanted to hear the updates and was wanted to hear the play-by-play, -play, uh, but couldn't be in the, uh, couldn't be in the hospital with us. So, you know, I just wanted to make this short little video here just to kind of capture it all, um, put it all into one place and uh, just kind of go through it. So, reminisce on it. So, come along for the ride with me. So if we look here, it says March 14th, we just arrived at the hospital to have a baby. So Owen was born on the 16th, we got there two days ahead, um, and that was, uh, that was pretty wild, uh, you know, we were all packed, all ready to go, um, and Sabrina, I believe she had, you know, had talked to her, uh, her doctor, and uh, they said, you got to come in now. Um, she wasn't having any contractions. Um, she wasn't. It wasn't like you see in the movies or you hear about. There was no rushing to the hospital. You know, we drove up, um, and you know, she basically walked in. Um, so next tweet. Uh, okay, I moved the car to the park garage. Next time I go outside, I should be a dad. Wicked excited. Uh, that wasn't exactly the case. Uh, I went out many times um, after I parked the car. Uh, because Owen, you know, we thought he was going to come that night, or we thought it was just a quick thing. Little did we know that we we had like, you know, 48 hours to go or something. Uh, and there's a shot of Catholic Medical Center up in Manchester. Uh, that's where Owen was born, at the mother's place. I believe it was room 505. Uh, that was a very cool place. The, the staff there was just awesome. Uh, here we are, same day, um, she got some test results, so waiting for test results, baby might not come tonight, we might even go home for the night, more info to come, so yeah, when we got there, uh, I guess, uh, you could say we had no idea, like, what was gonna go on, or what was happening, you know, I, I think the only thing going through my mind was that there's gonna be a baby, and the baby's gonna come soon, any moment now, but, you know, that, that definitely wasn't the case. Uh, Looney Tunes are surprisingly funny after all these years. Killing time, waiting for the test results. So I'm not exactly sure what result uh, we were waiting for, what test they ran, but uh, when you're in that room, there really wasn't much to do. There was a TV and a, and a couch that folded out on a bed, and I just remember there wasn't very many stations, but there was uh, Looney Tunes, and uh, I remember laughing. It was pretty funny. Uh, so not sure when we get the results back. As of now, Sabrina is not in labor. The results will determine if she needs to be induced. So we're still waiting for some tests here. Uh, and as you can tell by these tweets, we're still waiting and waiting. Uh, so there's a cool shot. There's Sabrina. Um, she is, uh, looks like she's uh, on the iPad, which is funny. A year later, that iPad is in Owen's room. Uh, we, put, we put on uh, some YouTube, some uh, lullabies, and some nursery rhyme videos to get him to go to sleep. Uh, I never wanted my Apple TV so bad. This hospital TV has 10 channels in SD. I could be airplaying to catch a predator right now. Uh, for those that don't know, to catch a predator, that's like my all-time favorite show. You gotta watch every episode on YouTube. Really funny stuff there. So yeah, I wish I did have an Apple TV there. You know, 10 channels, there wasn't very much. And it wasn't in HD. I can't remember the last time I watched TV in SD. All right, so we're going to take a nap while we wait for the results. No ETA yet. So it seems like this uh, these results were taking a long time. Um, all right, they're going to try and push Sabrina towards labor by administering some drugs. If she doesn't go into labor, then tomorrow they try Pitocin. Um, you know, I can't remember exactly what they gave her. I know Sabrina didn't want to do any drugs uh, or take anything to, you know, anything that wouldn't have this process be natural. Um, so I'm not exactly sure what it was. If it was something, I would imagine it was something, something small. Uh, the drug's supposed to push her towards labor, and labor may happen. If it doesn't, then tomorrow they try Pitocin, which guarantees labor. So that's what I heard. Uh, we have a webcam up in the room in case you're trying to watch us do nothing for the rest of the day. So that was pretty cool. We had that up. <coughs> People could just tune in. And there is my cousin Emily and Sabrina. Sabrina, <laughs> a big smile on her face. She has no idea what's about to happen. 
she 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 has no idea because it gets pretty rough here. Uh, but we have our first visitor, Emily, just sitting around chatting and smiling, good vibe. Now, Emily, this was fantastic having her there the entire time. So she showed up on that first day, and she was there up until uh, Owen was born. And a fun fact is that she actually cut Owen's umbilical cord. Um, <laughs> We'll get to we'll get a little more detail with that, but let's just say that um, I had no idea what was going on when I had that opportunity to cut the cord. I just remember walking back, going, "Uh, uh Emily," <laughs> and she did it. It was great. Can't stress how much it just made this whole process go by. Just, just it was just so comforting going through this process. I can't imagine doing it alone, and having Emily there was. Man, that was one of the greatest things that anybody could ever do for somebody. So uh, we definitely 100% appreciate it. Uh, moving on, not much baby news. Sabrina should be induced tomorrow morning. So here we are, okay. Owen, uh, this is the 14th. Owen's born on the 16th. So, you know, here we are. We should have it tonight. We should have it in the morning. And you're going to see a little reoccurring pattern here where we, we think it's, we're close, but uh, that's not quite the case. All right, so look, uh, looking at the picture, it looks like uh, Ashley Styles, Emily, Sabrina, and my mom. We're all just hanging out. You know, we just got to the hospital there. That's the first night eating dinner. Ashley showed up with some balloons and candy. Uh, Sabrina feels fine. Everything's pretty smooth. Yep, everything was pretty fine. It was just a waiting game. Uh, it's a bit chilly out here. Sabrina's not in labor yet. We expect that to begin tomorrow. Thanks for following. Uh, there it is. Looking out, um, I believe that's the parking garage. Looking back at the hospital and excited to the hundredth power. That is an understatement. All right, going to bed. We'll be back tweeting the latest on the baby at 9 a.m. Sabrina is comfortable. Night. And there's uh, another view uh, looking at the room. If you're you know, lying on a uh, Lying on the um, hospital bed there. So it was a very big room. Big big bathroom. Uh, lots of space, table. They did have Wi-Fi. Um, and we got room service three times a day. And that was just awesome because we were at the hospital, I believe, for a week. Um, so I definitely look forward to that room service next time we go back to uh, have the next one. So good morning. Contraction, contractions were painful throughout the night. About to hop in the tub. Baby coming today. So... Yep, here we go. Sabrina's starting to feel it, and it's early in the morning. Uh, so at some time, early in the morning, that was the first tweet of the day, March 15th. That one's coming the next day. So here we go. This is a long day. Uh, Sabrina needs to be alone working through this. When the baby's delivered, everyone is encouraged to stop by, but not before then. So yeah, um, with Sabrina, you know, feeling those contractions and everything that's going on there, now this was just a time for her to, uh, um, basically, she she just couldn't have anything around her, you know, because it's it's a it's a painful, tough, long process being in labor here. Uh, so having other people in the room just just wasn't a wasn't going to work. Um, so there, uh, in the hallway there, they had this looked like a little cash register thing that you would see that displays the price um, hanging from the ceiling right outside of our room. In the hall at the mom's place shows the date and the time. Uh, my guess is that that's what they use for official timekeeping. I don't know. Um, I did say that, but I don't have any proof that that is the official date. But um, that's what my thought is. So here we are, 15 minutes in. The pitocin begins, and hopefully she goes into labor and has this kid already. So I think they wheeled the pitocin in, but I don't think Sabrina actually took it. And then Sabrina's water just broke. I think that's uh, definitely my hand. I was standing right behind her, rubbing her back because, you know, it's starting to get um, pretty rough. Um, she's starting to feel it. And right there, boom, the water just broke. Um, <laughs> she's, she's like, oh, my God, I'm so sorry. I think she thought she might have peed on the floor or something. Um, but that was, uh, I remember that. It was just like with a snap of your fingers. Like something's going on here. Her water just broke. We're getting there. This means that the baby should be out any second now. 
What do I know? I've never done this before, but that's what I was thinking. And we are in labor. Um, this, I believe, was probably around 9, 10, 11 a.m. Uh, this was early in the morning. Um, Owen wasn't born for another 16, 15, 16 hours or something. It was a long, it was a long time. So there we go. Sabrina's in the tub now. The contraction got really painful. Childbirth ain't easy. This is where Sabrina spent the, the entire day. You know, she went right in there. Um, and that was, uh, that was, uh, that was a wild time. Emily, myself, we were there beside her the whole time. I tried to sneak out once, but, uh, she wouldn't, she found out, like, within 10 seconds. She wouldn't let me leave, leave her side. So, uh, okay, so yeah, I think we left off with, uh, Sabrina just hopped into the hot tub, and that's where she, uh, remained for probably, like, 12 hours or something. It was a long time. Uh, <coughs> so at this point, five to six minutes between contractions, so we're getting closer, I guess. Um, a little ways off before delivery, but they are getting ready. Uh, I guess this is where the baby goes on. It's this. It's got a heating element on top. And as soon as the baby's delivered, uh, they get placed on this, and a couple nurses um, do some tests. Um, I remember maybe they clean them off, and uh, they also weigh them. Uh, so they wheeled this out, getting ready, because uh, it seems like we're getting closer here. Uh, hard to update. Can't, uh, can't leave Sabrina side. Labor is long and painful. I'll try and update later. Yeah, so uh, Sabrina would not let me leave her side whatsoever. Um, and uh, it was pretty intense. I can't imagine having to go through the pain that she was going through. I mean, that's really um, unbelievable. Cervix, 7 to 8 centimeters, getting closer, um, starting to push at 10 centimeters. So that's uh, the guidance we were getting. As soon as we get to 10, we're going to start pushing. Uh, just got the room cleaned up and ready for a delivery. Sabrina's napping in the tub. I don't know how much uh, napping she was actually doing because uh, it seemed like every, oh, man, 10, 15, 20 minutes, uh, this machine that was uh, hooked up to her uh, had some numbers on it. And when those numbers, which would be going 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, as soon as they started going 5, 6, 7, 10, 20, 30, 40, 100, you know, like that meant that she was getting a contraction. Um, so like every 10 minutes, 15 minutes or so, that would happen, you know, that it would get up to like number 40 or 50. And uh, she would just be in agonizing pain. Oh, it was horrible. Um, this taco meter thing that shows contractions has been fascinating to watch so that's what I was just talking about she has this little wireless thing um, like strapped to her belly um, and it was waterproof because she was in the hot tub and I guess it was wirelessly relaying some signal to this machine and I remember it was in the other room so I'm sitting on the edge of the tub, but I can see into the other room where this machine was. And like I said, this machine showed numbers, and like every like half a second it would update. And if you were to look at it, it would be like one, two, one, two, zero, one, two, one, two, something like that. And as soon as contraction started, that number would all of a sudden start to rise. We'd go like two, three, three, four, 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 five, five, six. And then as soon as that contraction started to like like come on like as soon as it like really just began that number would go 5 6 7 10 12 15 18 20 40 30 uh 30 40 50 55 50 and at that point Sabrina's going ah and uh <laughs> I guess she couldn't feel it when it started to get up to like 10 or 20, but as soon as it got to like 40, she felt it. I remember just watching that machine, 1, 2, 1, 2, and then it would go 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And I'd say, oh, you ready, Sabrina? And she'd be like, shut up. She, she did not want to hear it. Um, so two hours ago, I said we're at 7 to 8, but it was only 6 to 7, apparently. Just checked, and we're at 8, so we're close, but probably still a couple hours away. I think we were like a long ways away. Um, we wheeled the equipment in as Sabrina lays in the tub, napping, resting, preparing. The time is approaching. So it looks like it's dark out. Um, so I remember that. Yeah, we're definitely getting closer. 
So, okay, everyone, it doesn't look uh, like visiting us tonight will happen. We don't know when the baby is coming. The hospital closes at 10. All right, so we do have good ways to go. Um, <coughs> so it's just going to be easier for everyone to come in the morning. So at that point, um, you know, I believe Sabrina's dad was in town uh, at a hotel uh, waiting to come over. Um, but we missed the, the cutoff point. The, they, sh they shut the doors to the public at 10. So I've been sitting around the bathroom for 10 hours with Sabrina laying in the tub. Uh, she was, not me. Really not much news to add uh, contractions here and there. But sitting around, contractions, screaming. That's all it was for hours. It was, it was, it was horrible. It was tough. All right. Ready to start pushing. <laughs> waiting and waiting. This will never end. Probably less than 30 minutes. We just started pushing. Place your bets. Stone Cold BB. I was talking with my buddy Nate, and we were talking about names, because at this time, Owen didn't have a name. He hadn't chosen or decided on a name. I liked Owen. Uh, Sabrina had liked some other ones, like Levi and um, Carter. I think there was another one. I really liked Owen, um, but it, we hadn't made our decision up. We decided that when Owen was born, um, we were going to... We were going to figure it out right then and there. So, a little trivia. When he was born, the name tag says Baby Boy DB. So, Stone Cold uh, Wrestler, Stone Cold Steve Austin. His, uh, his thing is Austin 316. So, we joked if he was going to be born on 316, we're going to call him Stone Cold BB. Uh, pushing with every contractions. Baby Head is very close to the world, still got some time. So, this is where it starts to get serious, so let me bring you to this moment here. Um, Sabrina had got out of the tub because she had felt uh, like she had to poop. Now, uh, this is very normal, the, they said, you know, this is, that's just the baby's um, head putting pressure on you. Um, and that means, you know, it's time to go. So we got to get Sabrina out of the tub. So we get her out of the tub, and she's, I got to go to the bathroom. So, um, it, you know, nobody wanted to rush her. Everybody wanted to make her feel comfortable. So it was like, okay, I mean, if you feel like you need to do that. So we, we sat her down on the toilet, and, you know, it started to, it started to feel like, you know, we need to get on the we need to get on the bed. We need to get this thing going. You know, we're, we're being as patient as we can. You know, it's you don't have to go to the bathroom, even though your body is, feels that way. They're saying. And I remember going, "Come on, Sabrina." You know, Emily's to my right. I'm on the left, holding Sabrina's hand. Emily's got the other one, and you know, Sabrina's getting these contractions. She's clenching her fist tight. I remember going, "Come on, Sabrina. We we got we got to get over to the bed." You know, uh, you're starting to hurt my hand. She stopped, she looked into my eyes, she grit, gritted her teeth and said, I don't give a beep about your hand. <laughs> and she then proceeded to scream at me. And I look over at the nurses to my right and they just kind of looked up and away like, uh-oh. I know they've seen that plenty of times before. So, uh, at some point here, let's see what we get. All right, we can see the head, but it hasn't made its way out yet. Okay. So we get Sabrina over to the bed, and Emily's on one side. I'm on the other. Um, the, the One of the nurses uh, was, you know, down um, at the bottom that was going to deliver the baby. The other nurse was standing uh, up towards Sabrina's head, like monitoring the equipment. We could hear the heartbeat of the baby. It was really cool. It was very peaceful. You know, the lights were dimmed down low. It's there's gonna be a there's gonna be a newborn here any second now. Everything's going really good. Um, Sabrina would have uh, she'd push. Emily would pull one leg. I'd pull the other one, and you know we we did that for a while. But what happened was um, every time Sabrina pushed. The baby's heartbeat apparently slows down, um, and then it rebounds after, like, quickly, and then it quickly rebounds after she's done pushing. Well, it seemed like every time she pushed, the heartbeat went down, but it didn't fully rebound to where it was. So every time she was pushing, the heartbeat was going down lower and lower, and I guess it was getting into 
some kind of a like a, a danger zone or whatever. Now, like I said, everything's going very peacefully. All of a sudden, after one of these pushes, the 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 the, the nurse says the 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 doctor at the that was getting ready to deliver the baby says something to the nurse, just like fires off like a command or something, and the nurse picks up the phone, calls the emergency room. And you can hear me rushing right now because I'm, I'm reliving this moment. It was horrifying. Um, it says something like, get the ER ready, uh, anesthesia, we might need a C-section, blah, blah, blah. The doctor simultaneously runs over to the door. Like three other doctors come in. They wheel, they, they, like, the, they push this cart in that had, um, like, had like, um, like a sheet draped over it. They whip this sheet off. There's like all these surgical tools covering the whole table the doctor jumps into like like this like a biohazard suit like this white head-to-toe suit and it had a plastic mask on it and all these doctors are now surrounding Sabrina the lights are on full blast Emily and I just back up like we have no idea what's going on here like this isn't right this isn't supposed to happen what's going on and I just remember like I would I I felt myself starting to lose my freaking mind. I started to lose my freaking mind. And I said to myself, stop. Stand back. This is out of your control. This is why we have professionals. Your job right now is just to be by Sabrina's side and do what it is that you can do to help her deliver this baby. So I ran around to the other side. I got down on my knees and I was like inches from her. My face was like inches from her face. And the doctors are, you have to push. You have to push. Your baby's life depends on it. And it was, uh, from what I remember, it was just like, for me, I was just, I'm trying to keep my mind as completely blank as possible. I'm trying not to hear anything. I'm not processing anything that's coming into my ears. I'm just looking at Sabrina, 100% focused, looking at Sabrina and nowhere else, going, push, you can do it, you can, you can do it, push, just, you know, being her cheerleader. Now, Sabrina is getting tired because they're making her push without these contractions, and... And, and, it's a, and it's a lot of work for her to be doing this. She hasn't taken any drugs. She doesn't, hasn't had an epidural. Uh, she's in pain. She's just getting so tired. They're just like, push, push, push. And I have, I swear to God, I have never, ever been more proud of anybody in my entire life than that moment when she had to do it. She had no choice. She had to do it, and she did it. She fought through all that pain she pushed for i think was probably like 20 minutes it was just insane and she did it and i am the most proud i have ever been of anybody i have never seen anybody put that much effort into it into anything and just totally wow it was amazing so at one point they said something like we have to vacuum extract the baby now what does that mean to me that was like like I'm thinking like a vacuum cleaner the baby's gonna they're gonna put a tube in there and the baby's gonna get sucked into a jar or something like what <laughs> like that's what I didn't know what this was so you know I'm, I'm still trying to keep my mind clear I just remember that popping in well it turns out a, a vacuum extraction is like a kind of like a plunger almost, where you know they put a suction on the baby's head and they're able to pull the baby out, guided, whatever. At one point, remember I'm on my knees, inches from Sabrina's face. I look over, in between Sabrina's knees, which were up in the air, I see this white thing coming out, um, which turns out that was like the plunger thing coming out of Sabrina, and it was bright white with all the chaos that was going on I thought that was the baby skull because you know it, it the 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 feeling in the room was it was just out of control like this isn't going right and I saw that and that's what just completely shut my mind off I immediately went whoop, right back to Sabrina and my mind shut down 
I can't process, I can't think this, like, nope, not having this, shutting my mind off. Well, <laughs> pushing, yep. Uh, we're getting closer. Okay, so uh, this was that calm scene right before this all happened. And then Owen came out at 1.22 a.m., the very first picture of him. Sabrina, uh, let, well, let's say this, okay, so Owen comes out, they put him right on Sabrina's chest, and going into this, you know, I'm thinking about that moment, you know, the whole day, you know, for a while I've been thinking about it, like, that's going to be such an amazing moment in my life to see my child for the first time, it's going to be this emotional, just amazing something, well, with everything that had just gone on, my mind being completely tuned out, when the baby finally came out and got placed on Sabrina's chest, I stood up and I slowly walked back and I was in this unbelievable weird state. Nothing was working in my mind. Um, you could have asked me anything and my response would have been pretty much blah, 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 blah. Like that's how like ridiculous, like this weird state of mind I was in. Well, anyhow, they had asked, uh, Al, do you want to cut the cord? I remember just walking backwards, backwards into this corner. And I looked at <coughs> I looked at the doctor, and I think it was something along the lines of, blah, 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 just like that. And I, and I think I might have pointed at Emily and said, Emily, you can do it or something. And Emily did it. And Sabrina's just passed out almost. Like, she is just trying to catch her breath. She's got the oxygen mask on. Like, you know, she's got her arm around Owen, but she is just, you know, trying to get get back to, a, you know, a calm state because of all that she had gone through. Well, they picked the baby up and they, uh, they put him over uh, on that thing that was out in the hallway that we just looked at. And I'm still just walking around. Um, uh, the They had... Uh, I guess the, they had to, as soon as they pulled Owen out, they pulled the placenta right out. Um, I, normally, I guess that is, del they, you know, the few, 20 minutes or so later it's delivered, but they pulled it right out. They had it in a bucket. So, like, within two minutes of the baby being born, I'm walking around the room just la, 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 la di da -di. And I look over, and there's the placenta in this bucket, and I look down, you know, I get a, you know, I maybe get like a foot away from it, and I'm, I'm just examining it, like, like, oh, this is kind of interesting. It, it turns out there was a couple of knots in Owen's umbilical cord, which um, they say that's amazing that, um, you know, he, he survived that. So I'm looking at this knotted umbilical cord. I'm looking at the placenta, like, kind of, I'm not processing. I'm just looking at it, you know. And I look over at Sabrina. You know, they're stitching her all back together, and there's blood everywhere. And, and for me, I'm just, hmm, this is, uh, you know, I'm not processing anything. Well, all of a sudden, snap of a finger, I came back to reality in an instant. Just like that, I'm back to reality. I look over, I see the placenta, I almost throw up. I see Sabrina, I see this, like, everywhere I looked over in Sabrina's area was red. Blood. There was blood. I'm, I'm like, blah, I'm going to throw up. And there's Owen. And it hit me. Oh, my God. I'm a dad. And that was just precious. It was just amazing. They put him on his scale, um, measured him, uh, did the weight, and uh, that was it. That was an absolutely incredible experience. Um, I think 20 minutes or so later, you know, when everything had calmed down, it was just me and Sabrina and Owen in the room. That's when Sabrina said, uh, Owen, we're going to call him Owen. She looks like, he looks like an Owen, so that's the story behind that. So, here we go. That was the end of my tweeting. Um, and, yeah, so there you go. That is the story of Owen's birth and uh, the live tweeting that we did. All right, thanks for listening.